Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the difference between the Expense tab and the Items tab and what the difference is when we record our transactions. Now, I've created a bill and I've created an Expense tab with the same uh, a chart of accounts and I've also expensed it to a job because in an Expense tab, you can expense to the job so what is the difference between this expense tab and the items tab? Now I'm going to be showing you on QuickBooks uh, desktop for contractors, but the same thing applies to QuickBooks Online. If you enter a bill, you can see here is the expense tab under category details. But if you go further down, you can see your items down here. So you the the idea is the same in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the difference for those two. So let's get started. Now, what is the difference? Well, I can tell you in one word, reporting. So I'm, we're going to look at some reports of how QuickBooks takes in the items tab and how it takes in transactions on the expense tab. Now, after that, then we can um, discuss, you know, we can talk about what would go into expense a little bit and what would go into the items. Okay, so let's go, I have saved some reports and let's go under reports and memorize reports. I'm going to take a look at items estimate versus actuals first. So just to review, I did a bill under a job under the expense tab for 500 and I did an item going to the same chart of accounts and I did it to the to the job same job okay so let's go back and look at the items versus actuals now this is a report to look at your estimate your job estimate versus your cost of the project now, I see only consulting, only the 100. This would be the items. I do not see the $500 one. Let's scroll down a little bit and see if it's further down. And it's not there. So in this report where you're comparing to your income, your cost to your income, it's only going to show the items. As you can see here, if we click on it there's the bill it doesn't say that you know the total bill is six hundred dollars it's only showing one hundred dollars this is the actual versus estimates and this is when you're comparing your cost to your income let's take a look at another report the next one is job cost by vendor and job summary and it's right up here now this one does show $600. Let's take a look at this. It shows 500 and the 100. Now it's not comparing my cost to my income. It's just letting me know the cost to a job and by vendor. So that's why it's showing both items or both transactions or both tabs. So let's click on the bill. We can see the 100 here and the expense of 500 to the same job. Okay, let's go to um, the next report. Let's go to cost to complete by job. And this one is comparing your cost uh, against your income. And I see $100 up here. Let's scroll down a little. I do not see anything else in this report. I don't see the 500. But as you can see, if you're going to job, if you're if you have jobs or projects and you're keeping uh, track of your income and you're keeping track of your expenses, you really want to use your items because it will give you the most detailed reports. Now you may say, oh well, I don't really need to have 
to track my cost against my income? I would think about that because later on, you may want to track your cost against your income or you may um, want to know certain um, costs for a certain project and that report will only pull up items. So, and I'll give you an example. I had a customer, um, a cleaning customer that um, we started just uh, doing just the expense tab, doing the subcontractors under expense tab under the job. Perfect, great. It's we job costed under the job. I can pull certain reports, but then they're like, oh, I want to know what um, subcontractor does the monthly uh, cleaning service. I want to know what the um, this subcontractor does on janitorial services or things like that. So they were asking for reports that required the items tab, which we could not, I could not provide. So it's very important that you think about how you're going to track your jobs and set it up correctly the first time. Let's take a look at the next report. Um, let's see. The next report is job profitability detail. Let's look at that. So this is the profit and loss um, for the project by item. This is job profitability. So it's going to give me what I made, what the job made as far as the items go. So this is what I built my customer and on the same item is what I, um, what the job cost me under that item. So as you can see, consulting is up here, the $100, the items tab. Now, if we scroll down, there is the 500, but there is no item. So we don't know what that is. This report will show you the 500 and the 100. Again, it's all about comparing to your income. So if, if we want to know what this was, this item is, or this transaction, we would have to click on it and look at it. And as you can see, the 100 is not under here because it's under the item. This is not an item, but it is expense to the job. So we can see it there, but we don't know the details of that transaction of what item it goes to. We're not comparing it to the income and see if we made money out of, out of that certain item. Okay, one last report. Um, let's see. Profit and loss by job. As you can see, it is in here. If you're not comparing your cost to your income and you just want to know what it costs you on that job, you can use the expense tab and it will come up. The 600 comes up and it breaks it, you know, we could see it here, 500. It's 500, the expense tab and it's job cost, it's put into the job, but, and even the 100 is in there, but we're not comparing the cost to the income. We just wanna know what this project made, which is this. But again, you, you need to think about what reports you will eventually want. Even if you say, oh, this is perfect, this is all I need, but then again, you may change your mind down the line and say, oh, I want to know how much I spent on excavation or how much I spent on drywall or how much money did I make on um, plans or um, anything, anything related to a job. So what kind of transactions would go into the expense tab? Well, if we go back to the bill, let's take a look at this. In the expense tab, I can put my overhead. I can put um, maybe things that small jobs that don't require um, job costing. Um, those are the kinds of transactions I can use the item of the expense tabs for. But if you're using inventory or if you're using job costing, you always want to use your items, your items tab. Okay, so that is what I wanted to show you um, in this video. Please 
give thumbs up if you like this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-tos, tips and tricks in troubleshooting for QuickBooks. And I will see you on the next one.